If you guys don't know, this is my boyfriend Chino. He is probably one of the most greatest people ever. He surprised me with a freaking ticket to Hawaii. And before we go all the way from LAX, all the way to the Hawaii airport, I'm gonna have to bring you guys all the way back. So let's rewind. So first thing first, we went to an escape room. As we always do, we go to a bunch of escape rooms all the time. This one was called The Depth. I'm not exactly sure what area this was in, but I remember traveling really, really far to get there. This one was probably like one of the most complex escape rooms that we've done in a while. But it was cool because we ended up going to this whole separate room where we had to go, like, go through these clipboards and find a hidden message in the clipboards. And like, this one was really like, Einstein-y, if that makes sense. Like, you have to have a lot of brains to solve this one. And look, like, look at this thing. What the heck is this? Anyways, yeah, I had no idea what this was, but Lexi is the one that ended up solving it. This thing was really cool because it's like a screen monitor and you have to like navigate it with two people. We ended up taking our classic after the escape room photo. The next day was Titi's birthday. She had us all dressed up, so don't come for me about why I was wearing a nice dress. How do you feel knowing that this is your last year as a teenager? I feel sad. Low key, huh? Yeah. Because you're never going to be a teenager again after this. Ever. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Get this dog away. I'm yeah! Dude, Lexi kept doing these like sick killer pool moves that she didn't even know she was doing. And of course, we ended it off with Mafia. I couldn't leave LA without pulling a prank on Sheena before we did. Good morning. I'm heading to the gym as I normally do. Brittany told me that she got a gym membership so we can start working out every single day together. Most days, I work out with like Lexi and Damo and like whoever decides to pop up. But for the past like week, I've been going to the gym solo. Anyways, let's go and link up with Brittany. I thought it was gonna be me and Brittany, but Monique's here too. Bro, look at my plates. It's two forty five. Damn, I wish I would have recorded that part, but I just left the house and I had found a reason to get Chino upset. But I only did it so that he wouldn't think that like suspicious or anything, but I'm gonna go back to the mall Brittany and I'm gonna get him a few things for Hawaii, just because. When he woke up this morning, I was like, I told him I got him, I was like, damn, it looks like you've been up for a while. You didn't message me good morning. And he was like, oh no, I just woke up. He said, good morning. And I was like, I was like, okay, well, I'll let you get back to talking to whoever's more important. <laughs> and I hung up and he was like, he tried to explain why. And then I came up to give him his keys. But I didn't say anything to him for real. And he was like, what's with the attitude? And I was like, uh, I don't have an attitude, I'm just gonna go with Brittany and I just walked away, I didn't give him a hug or a kiss or anything, so hopefully he thinks that I'm upset with him, but I'm not upset with him. Yeah, I found these. Which fabric, like this, like, I mean, of school shirts. So y'all, I'm gonna tweet out, does your man still text you good morning when you don't wake up together? Because, you know, it's going along with everything I told you guys. He thought I was mad at him because I told him, like, you didn't tell me good morning when you woke up. And he was like, no. So, and I went to drop off the keys and you know the whole scenario. Anyways, I'm gonna tweet this out. And he had just called me a little while ago to ask me what was wrong. And I was just being super nonchalant about it. So. You tweeted it? Yeah, I tweeted it. I tweeted it out. He came back. He keeps asking me what's wrong. It's so funny.
up, bro. You're so upset. You don't even want to say nothing to me. You barely said four words to me since I've been back home. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Huh? Nothing is going on. Nothing is wrong. It's okay, bro. Just the same way like how I thought when you woke up you would talk to me, but you didn't talk to me. I did! But well, you did it. I called you and said, hey, what's up? I was awake for 10 minutes. What do you want from me? Like, I don't want to be mad. I thought he was going to be like, no, oh, yeah, I didn't know he was going to be mad, but I don't know if it's worth keeping him mad and to give him a gift, you know, like, I really didn't talk to him all day today and I feel so bad. This is why doing, like, pranks all day sometimes for me, it's like, it's hard because I feel like I don't always want to mess with somebody's emotions. You know? Because I don't like my emotions to be triggered. And, like, when they're triggered, like, I get to joke and, like, ah, ha, ha, whatever. But it's just, like, people probably down there really upset. You know? And I don't want to mess up his day. He went and, like, did a bunch of stuff. And, like... Or should I just keep it going and just say this? <laughs> I don't know if it's worth keeping him mad, man. But the gift is really cute, though. From Zara. Oh my god. If you guys didn't know, the whole mall. It's probably still going on right now too. But the whole mall is literally like basically on sale. Like every store that I went into, on sale, 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 sale. And it's like this time of the month for whatever reason, it's the most emptiest at the malls. So it's like there's hardly really any lines anywhere. And there's hella discounts everywhere. And I don't think I would set this up. So I see it. You went shopping too. See? Hella discounts everywhere. I bet you those are on sale too. I'm gonna come back when I can find somewhere. I don't wanna cut it because I don't want you guys to think that, oh, you guys are saying, like, I really did talk to him all day and I feel so bad. <laughs> I'll leave this here. Like that. I'll leave my favorite here. I'll leave you guys right here for when he comes in and I'll be like, look at where they're going.
Where the gift is at. Where the gift is at. More Hawaii clothes. Were you actually, were you actually just sad? Yeah. Were you mad or were you sad? Both. Why? Because I went and got all kinds of stuff for the house. Okay. Here. I always get all kinds of stuff for the house. That doesn't make me think get yeah, mad or sad about you. I really wasn't mad, Pikachu. Okay. Thank you. I'm not being mad. I said thank you. <laughs> it's the next day and I forgot to basically tell you guys that um, he did like what I got him, but it just wasn't his style. So it's fine. Everyone has their own sense of style. So we went back to Zara and I let him exchange it. And this is what he decided to get instead. Because... Now look, there's a reason why. She got me an orange Hawaiian shirt. I know good drip. Appreciative. It's not that. It's I just couldn't pull off an orange. Like what is uh, that? orange. I don't make fun of you. Uh, orange. When you say it. <laughs> say it. It sounds like it's the way that you said it. it sounds like it's spelled U R A N G. A uh, orange. Okay, now look at this. Oh yeah. Guess where we're going. Look at that. The, the subtle prints. Of Mexico, but with a flower. yeah. I was gonna say that reminds me of Mexico, not Hawaii. Doesn't matter, but it's Hawaiian vibes, man. It is what it is. Yeah, you I like it. I mean? It's got it's got the little cool pockets there. It reminds me of my uncle. I feel like if I, I would. Reminds I, me of my grandpa. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like if I bought you that, you would have exchanged that. Not as he. Now, and I got these. Yeah, I did like these. Those these are cool. These are drip. It takes a real man to pull these off. You couldn't pull these out. I could pull these out. I know you, one of you guys is a man. Now, these are just some basic, uh, uh, just jean shorts and shit. Those are nice. And they were on sale for $9.99, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drip doesn't all, it doesn't, let me tell you. Let me, look, can I just tell you guys something? Look, from right, where I'm wearing right now, I will admit, it's, this is, Probably top tier worst fit you guys. I mean, that's what you wore to sleep. So yeah, this is what. Yeah, I literally just woke up. But when it comes to putting a, a good fit together, yeah. Sometimes all you need is a eight dollar, five dollar white tee, and you could put together a fire fit. Just because if it's expensive doesn't mean it's drip. Remember that. I already told them. I I literally told you guys run to the freaking mall right now because everything's on sale. Like every store. Is having a sale because it's past Christmas. Hey, this is the time, babe. How many people? Wait, how many people? Just are? because it's expensive doesn't mean it's drip. And what do I say that? Yes, because I am frugal, cheap, bitch. Yes, it doesn't matter. You know why it doesn't matter? Because you guys are being played by society and all these clothing companies. Trust me, bro. I've made clothes. I know how much it costs to make clothes. Now let me. I'm gonna just put you on game. All right. Listen, these, these are essentials, right? You would see these in stores and these would be a hundred. Now you'll see them in a resale store and these are 150, 200. This shirt right here this is an essential shirt. How much is this? In, in, in PacSun, you could get it for, uh, what's it called? 60 bucks, 50 yeah. bucks, something like that, right? Come on over here. I'm about to blow all of your guys' mind about this drip shit. Because it, it, it low-key, like, gets me heated. So, all right, another essential shirt, right? Another $60 on that. OVO shirt, that was like, that's old, this is old. Uh, fuck, this Travis Scott shirt, how much did you, you pay for this Travis Scott? Oh my I don't God, even wear that shirt. I don't even know. V-Loan. I don't even wear a V-Loan no more. But how much is this? Like 100, 120? No. How much is it? That's like, 50? that's like two something. Oh, 200? So I don't even know. But, look, 715, you guys don't know about that. That was a $100 shirt. Cause, how much did you pay for this? I don't Cause even shirt. remember. Okay. Essential shirt, another 50. Gucci, Gucci jacket from what, 2000 and whatever?
That was like two years ago, babe. Oh, okay. For two like years I just ago. just bought it for you recently. This is how much? Shh, oh, my God, man. 1200 Oh, my God, man. It was a lot. All right. Whatever. Nike Tech is 100 RTA. Off-White. How much is Off-White? I don't even know. But I want to, I want to, the reason why I'm showing you guys, okay, let, let me use this as an example. This is a V-Loan hoodie. I don't even really wear it for real. I know, all the clothes I buy you never really ever wear. Damn, where's some clothes I wear? <laughs> I'm not going to buy you any clothes anymore. <laughs> all the drip you're asking for, I'm never going to buy you any of it because it just sits here. No, but like, okay. I just want to put you guys on game, so listen. Oh my God, just get to the game part already. It's kind of a little, it's right. a now the one exception... The one exception I'll give is this uh, Yeezy hoodie, right? Yeezy hoodie, it's different. It's cut differently. It's the not, material's thick and it's heavy. Thick, it's heavy. It's it's completely 100% different. Like, that's not a normal hoodie that somebody just screen printed on and called it a day. No. That's probably why it's so minimalistic. It probably cost them a lot to make. Now, but outside of that, this essential shirt, I'm telling you, I could go down. The, even these essential sweats. Chrome hearts, uh, all that shit. I can get those hoodies. The cost of making those hoodies, gallery department. Oh my God, gallery department is the biggest finesse. Gallery Just throw some paint on your stuff. Call gallery it a day. department, each piece probably cost them at max eighteen to twenty dollars to make a piece, and then just the little labor of putting paint on it. And Messing then it up. screen printing it, <laughs> screen printing their same logo, which they recycle over and over and over again onto each piece. So now you pay $50 for the screen print, then you have it for life. Dude, that's anything can, from Gallon Department is like what, $300? You can do this all day, every day with paint. Trust me, Ace does it. This, the shirt, if this was a Gallery Department shirt, let's okay, this is a essential shirt. This is a little bit different because it's embroidered. But a, a, a gallery department shirt where they screen print it probably costs what? Five hundred dollars. Three hundred on the other side. Yeah. Five hundred max, right? And Some all they're doing is screen printing it with their brand and their way they mm -hmm. do it and stuff like that. This is why I don't I don't overpay. I, this is why I don't like paying any more for quote unquote drip. I gotta go soon. Taking up a lot of my. I'm giving you minutes. You're taking, giving me too many minutes, Pikachu. Yeah, look, too many stop, minutes, stop, stop. Pikachu. Look, I, I'm really trying to tell you guys something, bro. Spending all this money, stop, man. Spending all this money on 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 expensive drip that you're not, you're gonna barely, rarely wear because you're trying not to ruin it. A and then B, you're. Uh, it's not gonna be like an everyday fit. Fuck all that shit. Don't be like consumed by all this shit that you see like because other people are walking basically save your money and just grab stuff off the cell rack it's the same shit <laughs> i gotta go to the gym i gotta work out so i look good for you that's a good argument though. for you that is a good argument though let's go to the gym again and of course i have to go to the gym it's mandatory to go to the gym Oh my God, please enjoy this montage, bro. I'm telling you guys, take your health and all that serious. Go to the gym. Get out of that laziness, you know? And on top of that, I totally get like going to the gym for the first time. Everyone's had their first time going to the gym, so don't feel nervous. Don't feel pressure on yourself. Just do what you can and then just build your routine. The more you go, the more comfortable you'll get. Trust me. My first time at the gym, I felt super awkward. So once you got that funk, you know what machine do you want to go and take on and what weights you want to do and you just do it don't mind nobody else i hope you guys like watching me work out time Woo! we did it literally just telling me when you're younger you literally never get sore you could jump rope run around play all that and you're right, never I sore everything for hours and like swimming all that and you won't be in pain no. i know now we're old and we try doing this just for exercise, like, instead of for fun. I mean, if you do it for fun, then cool, but I literally feel like a freaking noodle. I feel so shaky. Like, even hiking, I remember hiking in school. My legs used to never hurt. Like, walking up the mountain like we do, never used to hurt. Now, 
Oh my god, it's like you're running out of breath every few steps. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, man. Damn. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Earlier, Brittany was like, <laughs> Brittany was like, I was just thinking about getting a salad or something. <laughs> but I don't know if you if you noticed or not, but that line comes from Nacho Libre. Because all the poor kids, all the orphans, they eat like this slot. Like it looks like slot that they put in. He's like, man, why can't we ever, ever, ever get like a salad or something? Oh, I never watched that movie. It's so funny. That, that's why I was laughing. I'm going to eat a salad for dinner. Oh, Valentine so started good. laughing, so I didn't go get a salad. She punked me into getting in. <laughs> you're, you're the one that's like, should we just get pandas right there? <laughs> Why you make me feel bad? I'm like, dang. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Salads are bomb. They're super fire. I'm going to make a salad tonight. Last night I ate salmon, oh green beans, and um, rice. So good. That sounds so freaking delicious. Bro, this is, my, this is gonna be my, my new year. If I have any type of resolution that I'm gonna do, I know it's past New Year's, but I'm gonna teach myself how to cook. Like, cook, cook. Like, I'm gonna be like real good at it. Watch. I feel like my chicken's gonna come out dry at first. After you see, you know when um, help your chicken not come out dry when he should like bake it? I feel like you should after keep you putting season, liquid on it, right? No, after you season your chicken, put olive oil all over it. After Not a lot eating? of it, just like spread olive oil over it and put it all over it. Your chicken gonna come out crispy and juicy. I wanna make that thing Titi made with the pineapple. Oh. That looks so dank. You gotta ask her how to teach you how to make it. I know. Titi, teach me how to make it. <laughs> I've been asked you before. Teach me how to make it, Titi. Just teach me how to make it, Titi. Just teach me how to make it. And then my dad came over real quick just to see Moo Moo. Ugh. What time is it? It's 1 in the morning. It's 1.30 in the morning. It's 1.30 in the aim. In the A. In but the M. Why? Why are we up? We gotta be up in like four hours. She's not letting me go to sleep, guys. She literally keeps telling me stories. We've been sitting here for hours. Watch my video. Do this. You're the, so you told tired. me to watch your video. I'm just trying to sleep. You're editing. Ugh, your fingers she are was dirty. Like, clean, go do dishes. I cleaned. And she was like, go make food. Oh my Can god, that's so frustrating. What? Yeah. I made you food. No, I, was just like, Dude, I didn't even we eat anything. Sleep. Man, I'm gonna wake up early. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was bugging her. Oh, I did everything. Yeah. Now the house is clean. Yeah. So when we get back, it'll still be clean. Mm, kind of. The dogs will probably shit everywhere. No, my aunt's going to take care of them very well. She'll make sure that everything's literally spotless before we even get back. Great. There won't even be a poo on the ground. No? Not even a poo. No. Mm -mm. She'll probably end up deep cleaning the whole house, even though I deep cleaned it myself. Wow. Yeah, my aunt's a real one. I love you, Thea. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in four hours. What do we got to do in four hours? We got to go catch a plane. <sighs> Ugh. Bro, I said I'm going to sleep. Stop watching me sleep. Ugh. Disgusted. I only got like two hours or something of sleep. Three hours of sleep. I'm exhausted. Luckily, I can sleep in the plane. I'm gonna get dressed real quick. Whoa. I'm gonna get dressed real quick and I'll see you guys in right now. All right, you guys, now I'm dressed and in the car. Well, we're dressed and in the car. We got about an hour before we get to our flight. So that's gonna be exciting. How are you feeling? Sleeping. Well, yeah, you only slept for like two hours compared to me, at least I got an extra hour of sleep. Um, I'm gonna catch all the Z's on this plane. I'm gonna go buy me a fat bottle of Z Quill. <laughs> Let it be what it is. I look he might take some too so that way I can just pass out. I'm so tired. But we'll see you guys at the airport. We made it to the airport. Look out your nose. Hmm. Oh, I wish I would have got you before you look. <laughs> You're like this. You're like this.
It's time to rebook now. We're going on a later flight. So yeah, we ended up missing the flight basically because Chino's bag was really big and we had to check it out. We had to check the bag in like at 7.18 or something like that, even though our flight isn't until like 9 or something. But it's fine. We're not gonna be able to board our flight until 6.30 p.m. So we're gonna hang out at the airport all day today. And we're not gonna land until about 10. But it's fine. We're gonna make the most of it. I've never spent the day at the airport, so <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried a cannoli? I've always heard about them, but I've never tried them. But they have it there. I'm gonna try it and I'll let you guys know if it's like what even is a cannoli? What is these little things? You guys gonna be good or no? I hope so. These little I don't know beans. why you're getting that. Just slap you in the face with it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try it though. I gotta start filming you guys up here instead of this angle. <laughs> Are the cannolis good? They're really good. I want an everything bagel and a blueberry bagel. You know what I was thinking about? All the people that have to have like layovers and wait here for like hours. I wonder how many people are just sitting here waiting for the next connected flight, you know? We're literally gonna be here for about nine hours before we take off to Honolulu. But holy cannoli! I bought a cannoli! I've never had a cannoli before. You wanna try a little bit of cannoli? Alright, go ahead and try it. Oh my god. Is it actually worth it? Wow, they really wrapped this thing up good. It's cold. It's most chocolatey. We made it. Ah, Blue Lagoon. Ah, the Blue Lagoon. What is this? Oh, still in the airport. <laughs> what is this? Still in the airport, eh? <laughs> ah, Blue Lagoon. <laughs> We're gonna watch a movie and just take a nap on the ground. No, 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 what did you ask me? I said, uh, Jadion had posted this AOT thing. What is, what's AOT? You don't know what AOT is? So you don't recognize this character? <laughs> no. Where did he come from? Pokemon. Oh my god. Does it not look like Pokemon? No, you're trying to zoom in and you're holding this on Instagram. No, it's Attack on Titans. Oh, Attack, that's an acronym for Attack on Titans? You said Attack on Titans? Attack on Titans. Oh my god. You are not an anime watcher. Attack on Titan Drake. Okay. Attack on Titan Drake. Okay, that's what I was asking. You should already know. You shouldn't even have to ask. Babe, that does what not is look that? Like what is that? It does. It really does. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Okay, you're gonna look at it. Okay, you're gonna look at it. It does. It really does. No, it doesn't. Yes, Attack it does. on Titans has got the the big giant monsters. No, that's just the that's just the freaking giants. But the people that that's the main character. We've literally sat there and watched it. You don't reckon it? Never mind. My hair is better. The dust. After hours and hours and hours and hours of being here, we're finally gonna get to go on the freaking plane. <laughs> Look at this. Chino fell asleep in the plane. Bro, this whole time that this lady in the airport was talking over the mic, I had no idea what she was saying. We're at the airport about a dip. Literally, I have no idea what this lady's saying. I'm not even paying attention, but it's fine. It's good. I'm just excited to go. Speed up the process and let's head to 
Hawaii. Goodbye. Exit pad lighting in the aisle for a Goodbye, LA. Next up, Hawaii. And we made it. We made it. It was so late. Your agriculture forms. We need to collect those. So please have your agriculture forms ready to get to the flight attendant as we come through the cabin. Also, go ahead and bring your seats to the upright position. Please stow and lock your tray tables in place. Please check the security of your seat belt. Make sure it is securely fastened. Again, folks, we are going to experience some turbulence going on in Honolulu tonight. You couldn't see me before, but now you can because it's bright. Let it go, auto puts her like woe Thing I go, cause you don't know I see, I see, I see And you're the better now, girl Yeah, got your cold blood Yeah, no one is a dead, I swear I swear Check out Mondo Zero Pox out, can't get you there Go me though, I wasn't done with Now I'm back on no more, do it, get chump chin, do it